Hey guys, it's Andrew from HD One Software, and if you've been following the news, you've probably seen that recently Sprint signed an exclusive deal with Harman Kardon about getting their audio enhancement software on exclusively onto their device. But luckily, XDA member Bad News was able to get that ported over to any HTC model. Now you should know that the Verizon version, it needs a specific settings app to be ported over, and that hasn't been done yet, but I will update the guide at HTC One Soft Modern when that one gets released. So to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the HK Enabler. The link to that one is going to be in the description, so be sure to check that out. And after you have that downloaded to your device, you're going to want to boot into recovery mode. So to do that, just hit the power and volume down button, hold it down for 20 seconds until you see your boot loader menu, and then hit recovery from that. All right, after you're booted into TWRP, you could go ahead and install the file. So go ahead and hit install. Go to your downloads folder, which would have the file downloaded. Go ahead and select it, and then swipe to confirm. After the install finishes, go ahead and restart your system. There's no need to wipe the cache or anything. All right, now once your device restores, you should already have the Harman Kardon settings and your settings app. Let's go ahead and open that up. Scroll down to audio. And you see how mine doesn't have it. That means you're going to have to go through the troubleshooting steps. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that right now. So since I don't have that HK icon underneath the boom sound audio, we're going to have to go use a file explorer in order to change that. So you just go ahead and open up any file explorer you have. And then go to the system partition of your device. Go down to the system folder. Hit customize. Hit ACC. And then open up the default.xml. Open that up with the ES note editor. And then scroll down until you see the line that reads support underscore Harman and change the false value to a true value. So if you found the line, it should look like this now. So you should have changed the default false to true. After you have that, go ahead and save that and reboot your phone. All right, after I rebooted, you go ahead and see that I have Harman Kardon audio available now. So go ahead and hit that. And you can see that the Clarify has been enabled, but live stage is only enabled when you have a headphone plugged into it. Now, this isn't the only problem that could come up. If you do have an issue where your audio isn't playing at all for your speakers, that could also be fixed. All you have to do is update your firmware file, and that has to be done by connecting your phone to your computer and starting up terminal or command prompt, depending if you're using a Mac or Windows PC. Okay, so to update the firmware, you're gonna have to download it first from the full tutorial. So go ahead and click on that link there and download it. After it's downloaded, place it onto your desktop and rename it adsp.zip so that it's easy to find and put into terminal or command prompt. So after you have your device plugged in and terminal open, go ahead and type in adb reboot bootloader hit enter, give your device a second to reboot into the bootloader menu, and then after it has finished rebooting, you're going to put it into RUU mode, which will be used to flash that new firmware update. So type in fast boot OEM reboot RUU, hit enter, your device should now show a black screen with a silver HTC logo in the middle. After you see that, you go ahead and flash the file over to so type in fast boot flash zip desktop slash adsp dot zip change that last part to wherever you downloaded the uh, firmware file if you didn't put it on desktop hit enter give it a second it will start flashing over that new update after it has said successful in terminal or command prompt you know you're all done so just reboot your phone just type in fast boot reboot hit enter and you should be all set when your device restarts go ahead and make sure that you still have that arm and card settings enabled and then you can hear the audio. And after that, you're all set. Be sure to check out the full tutorial over at HTC One Soft Modern. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.